One of the most helpful things you can do if you're living with chronic insomnia is to go about your days as normally as possible and to pursue daytime activities that are important to you, activities that bring meaning, enrichment and joy to your life. This can definitely feel harder after difficult nights of sleep, but cancelling such activities usually leads only to more worry about sleep, more sedentary behaviour, heightened fatigue and a more difficult day. Withdrawing from our usual daytime life can also disrupt the body clock, weaken sleep drive and make sleep more difficult. One concern that's often raised by clients is that even when they pursue daytime activities they would normally enjoy, after difficult nights they find that these activities are just less enjoyable, that they feel as though they're going through the motions and just forcing themselves to do these things, that they still feel a lot of brain fog and fatigue even when doing things they used to really enjoy. If this sounds like you, Stay tuned because this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. How we approach each day can have way more influence on our sleep than how we approach each night. And what we do during the day and what happens to us during the day has far more of an effect on how we feel during the day than how we slept on previous nights. We can create significantly better conditions for sleep by getting out of bed and starting our days at a consistent time in the morning. We can strengthen our internal body clock by maintaining a daytime routine and being active during the day. We can sustain sleep drive by avoiding daytime naps and going to bed only when we feel truly sleepy enough for sleep at night. Here's the real challenge though, often the brain screams at us to conserve energy after difficult nights, it tells us to cancel plans, it tells us that we are incapable of doing things. Most of us have learned to trust our brains, but if we listen to these thoughts, we can perpetuate insomnia because we guarantee that a difficult night leads to a less pleasant day. We're less likely to do things that add pleasure and enrichment to our lives and we can weaken the body's biological sleep systems. Recognizing that thoughts are simply thoughts, they're not facts, they're not predictions, they're not a reflection of who we are or what we're capable of, they're just thoughts. And going about our day as normally as possible can be so helpful. Often if we give ourselves the opportunity to improve the quality of our days by doing things we enjoy, we can be surprised by just how much control we have over the quality of our days independently of sleep. We might also be surprised by just how capable we can be even after difficult nights. If we're able to recognize that how we sleep doesn't completely dictate the quality of our day, how we live our life or what we're able to do, we might put less pressure on ourselves to sleep at night and this helps create better conditions for sleep. For many people, doing things they enjoy, even after difficult nights, leads to some improvement in the quality of the day and daytime mood. It is possible though to find that our experience of activities Activities that once brought us a lot of joy and enrichment changes after difficult nights. These activities might feel more difficult or less enjoyable. Often that's down to our wandering mind. Our brains are hardwired to wander and to multitask, but the problem is the brain's not very good at focusing on more than one thing at a time. When our brain wanders, we can find it hard to concentrate on anything. When we try to focus on just one thing, the mind constantly drifts. And when we have insomnia, it usually drifts to sleep-related thoughts and worries and ongoing monitoring for the effects of a difficult night or a run of difficult nights. It's this drifting and our natural tendency to fight or suppress that drifting and those sleep-related thoughts 
that can make it harder for us to focus on enjoyable activities. And this can make them feel less enriching and enjoyable. And it can create and maintain a sense of brain fog and fatigue. The good news, though, is that we can rewire the brain to focus on what we're doing at the present moment by repeatedly recognizing when it has drifted and bringing it back to the present moment without judgment. The aim here is not to feel great all the time. That's impossible. It's not to fight sleep related thoughts or to avoid them. And it's certainly not to stop the mind from wandering. Instead, the goal is simply to notice when the mind wanders, to recognize that it has wandered, which is okay, and to gently guide it back to what you're doing at the present moment. At first, you might find yourself doing this dozens of times a minute. With practice though, it does get a lot easier to notice the mind drifting, to bring it back, and to remain more focused on doing whatever activity is important to you. Perhaps the most important thing to bear in mind though, is that even if doing activities that once brought you more joy doesn't feel quite as good after difficult nights of sleep, that's okay. It's okay because it's impossible to feel good all the time. And it's okay because you're still pursuing activities that align with your values and you're still doing things that are important to you and that add meaning, enrichment, and value to your life. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I do try to share a new sleep snippet video every week. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd like to leave you with this important reminder. You can sleep.